Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today in front of you is an interesting watch from Pricetus Watches. Um, I reviewed a few of their watches in the past and they have some pretty cool kind of uh, US kind of themed watches, military themed watches of all different eras of war and stuff. And this is one of their newest releases, actually sold out on their first batch. Uh, but their second batch is for pre-order, and I believe it delivers in August. You can pre-order it on their website. I'll drop a link to them down in the description below so you can check them out after this video. This exact model, getting it out of the way, pricing $550, US and it comes with a two-year international warranty. Now, I do not have a box to show you, uh, but this is the watch. Um, this is the olive green version. So these watches are commemorating D-Day, the invasion of Normandy Beach in France uh, by the U.S. troops and was German occupied. And it's kind of a watch using uh, parts of a C-47 Skytrain. Uh, these dials are supposedly made of the C-47 Skytrain door on, you know, one of the planes that were left over or, you know, I don't know if it was a damaged plane that they used. Um, but as you can see, each dial is different, and you can actually pick the wear and tear um, on this actual watch. So this one is, I think it's a light wear and tear, I'm pretty sure, as you can see. Um, there's actually, you know, that's how the door actually is. <laughs> so some parts will be higher wear and tear. This one is light wear and tear. So that's not any damage to the door, that's the actual door. Um, but quite interesting. I thought it was quite, you know, quite interesting. They also did release another model, the A11. Uh, D-Day version, which actually has sand from Omaha Beach, which I don't have to show you, but you can check out on their website. And it's a bit more um, of an interesting dial, I should say. It has actually some sand in there, and then you have the names of the parts of the beach, and uh, it's quite interesting. The watch is solid 316L, stainless steel, completely sandblasted all around. Very simple, militaristic dial here, something you would see in one of the paratroopers jumping out of the plane. They'd have something like this on their wrist, a very, you know, simple watch to tell time and keep accurate time, reliable, you know, accurate, and very easy to read at a glance, something you want to have when you're jumping out of an airplane. And it, this one does have 100 meters of water resistance with a screw down crown and case back, so you can definitely take it in the water if you want. Anyway, the watch is 38 millimeters, so it's a pretty nice size for that era. Um, probably back then, it might have been 36 millimeters. 38 is more of a modern size, I'd say. Definitely, you know, good for today's watch collectors. In terms of case thickness, with that domed, double domed, I should say, sapphire crystal, we're looking at 12.5 millimeters. So 38 by 12.5, about 45 millimeters top to bottom or lug to lug, 20 millimeters in between those lugs. Now this watch is available in two different strap versions. It comes on this uh, kind of nylon strap here, which kind of matches the olive green of that dial, as you can see there. And it also comes on a genuine leather band. You can choose between the two. I think it actually looks better on this. It gives the watch a little more flair, it pops a bit more. That's just my personal likings though. Now, the watch itself um, does have a Muta 9039. So we are using a high beat movement, uh, which beats at four hertz, as you can see there, a nice smooth sweep of that seconds hand. Um, these movements are, you know, very accurate, reliable. It's basically a 9015 without the date wheel. Let me go ahead and unscrew the crown here. Nice solid crown. I must say the crown uh, is very nice on this one. And you just get one position because there is no date wheel hacking and then you can set the time there. And that's it. You're pretty much good to go. Very easy and simple watch to function. These movements have about a 40 hour power reserve. They beat it at 4 hertz. You get hacking, hand winding. And most of you guys are very familiar with the Muta 9 series movements. A bit of a step up from an NH35. Now we have pilot style hands on here filled with uh, Luminova as well, which glows green. And on all those numerals going around the dial, those are filled with loom as well. And the loom is actually pretty decent. Um, so I wouldn't worry about that. I'll get you a loom shot towards the end of the video. The case itself is actually finished pretty nicely. We get an unsigned crown. We also do get drilled lug holes, which is very nice to swap bands out easily. I do like that. And uh, comes on this band here, sandblasted as well, to actually match the finishing of the case, uh, which is always a good look. And uh, yeah, it's just pretty cool. You get that kind of wear and tear. No two dials will look the same because um, each dial comes from a different part of the door. Now, flipping to the case back, there's some D-Day stuff on here. And there you go. Type A11 D-Day 80th anniversary, as you can see here. Kind of, you know, mimic to look aged. The case back, these are not scratches. It comes like this. That was just pretty interesting. You have the D-Day C47 dial. You can see here, D-Day 80th anniversary, Pricetus automatic, and uh, the number 17. So yeah, just pretty, pretty cool. 
I must say, if you're into, or if you're a veteran or something of that nature, and you want something, um, you know, for your honor, or your service, um, this might be something that interests you. Now, heading straight into a loom shot, as you can see, the watch does have some nice loom. I was quite surprised. All those numerals are filled very nicely, green, and the hour markers as well, going around the little pips, are filled as well. Um, looks pretty good from my end here. Uh, so no issue with the loom there. Posted up on my 6.5 inch wrist, as you can see, 38 millimeters, I can definitely wear it. Uh, it fits perfectly across my wrist. I have about a millimeter more on each side. And I must say that green definitely looks very nice. There are a few different uh, dial options as well you can check on their website. I just like the green the best. I think the green is very militaristic and kind of fits that whole theme. Uh, but for me, you know, very comfortable on this band as well. I was quite surprised. I usually don't wear nylon bands. I usually use rubber bands or bracelets. Um, this one actually fits really comfortable. I can definitely use this one as a nice fit on this case. Um, yeah, that's how it looks on a 6.5 inch wrist. So furthermore, guys, I actually think this watch is pretty cool. I like what they're doing here. Um, interesting stuff, you know, for $550, you get a little piece of the C47 Skytrain door. Not exactly sure which plane, um, but yeah, uh, I think that's pretty cool. Um, the quality is definitely there. I like the quality of the watch. It feels good. It feels of high quality. Um, the crown feels very nice, easy to grip, double domed sapphire, Miyota 9039. Uh, you're getting a lot of specs as well. And the case finishing and cut is also very good, as well as that bead blast or sand blast. It's very smooth, no errors. Everything looks pretty good. Interesting case back. Um, yeah, just a really, really cool, all around cool, interesting watch. Something interesting to have in a collection. Um, I could definitely say it is a field watch, um, if you want to call it that. Um, but it has something, you know, else in it. It's to memory D-Day, which is what, you know, is a really big thing for the United States. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment sections below as usual. This is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews coming at you with the Parcetus D-Day edition. And uh, I believe you can order it and we'll deliver in August. That's the second batch. This batch is already sold out. Uh, so I guess they're pretty popular. Anyway guys, let me know what you think and subscribe to the channel. Share the video with your friends and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.